Hello everyone, um, welcome to this new tarot reading. Um, this tarot reading is going to be about um, genes and youngies, sugars, um, friendship. Um, so we will see how they interact with each other, how, how things are today um, and, and what they feel for each other. Uh, in, in this uh, emotional and friendly bond. So let's start uh, with uh, Suga's side. Uh, we have uh, the chariot, we have the justice, and we have the two of wands. So he definitely feels that um, he gets really motivated and he gets really like... Um, um, like he gets uh, energy from Jin. It's like he he gets um, um, he gets invited uh, to do things that maybe he uh, normally wouldn't do. So he he definitely feels uh, inspired uh, by by Jin's energy to move forward, to maybe get out of the of the dorm or maybe get out of whatever uh, his his routine is and and do things uh, in the in uh, outside or do outdoor activities um, and he, he likes it. He finds um, he finds in Jin the perfect balance. It's like they are the Jin and the Yang um because um um jin is actually in his eyes is actually a very um good company in the sense that he is not um despite of all the goofiness that we see on camera and interaction actually when it comes to real life uh, moments uh he's really chill he's really like lay back uh, and he uh, Jin uh, make these invitations in base of what the other person might might want to do it's not like for example we see them always talking about fishing and we assume that they always get invited to go fishing actually he he does propose other activities they are all outdoors so <laughs> for for Suga it's like a big um like effort <laughs> to to go out and do it um but he feels really nice to be asked uh he feels like uh, he has a, a very uh very respect a huge respect for Jin because obviously he's the older but because uh um, Jin has uh, has evolved a lot as a man in, in Shua's eyes, so um, for him it's it's nice to be able to share, uh, to look back at, at at how many times and years they had spent together. It's like they're a, a group of good old friends. It's like they go together and just sit and talk about random stuff. Because um, what makes uh, Sugar really like uh, comfortable around Jin is that Jin doesn't ask these very deep emotional uh, um, questions and start these deep and spiritual uh, conversations because sometimes he he gets nervous because he gets nervous around any social event especially when he feels that the other person is going to start to ask questions and is going to want to get closer to him somehow and he's just not he's a very simple man Yungi. he's really simple if you ask him to go for a coffee just go and have a coffee it's like um be content that he's sitting next to you just don't push things. It's like don't invite him and have other reasons behind that invitation. So he feels the straightforwardness and the simplicity of Jin too, because Jin is really honest. He's like, yes, uh, I mean, the activity of today is we're going here, we're going to do this, and then we're going to come back home. So 
and that's and that's the the, the moment they share so so sugar feels really great in that sense towards him and in this case we have uh the tower we have um the nine of swords and we have um the sun so he definitely feels um about about sugar i've been saying definitely a lot <laughs> uh, about sugar that um he feels happy when when sugar um respond to his invitations but he definitely feels nervous every time he asks him he feels like um he feels that it's a struggle to ask Yungi because it's like you never know if he's going to say yes or no so um um Jin definitely feels a bit like awkward inside it's like um it's like he Yungi is still a mystery for him and he's fine with it it's, it's not that he overthinks things or maybe he starts to to think that Yungi doesn't like him it's just that um he cannot help but get nervous <laughs> before um asking the question because he knows that that, that Yungi is, is is special in that sense so sometimes he has to uh tone down his excitement and his usual manners because um uh Jung is very laid back so i think in a sense when i i mentioned that jean in sugar's eyes is laid back when they are doing um an activity together or they are going somewhere um, I I believe that it's because uh, not only because uh, Jin is older, but only because he uh, Jin it's um, also nurtures himself from the other person energy. So in this sense, it's like he can be chill because sugar is chill. So so he feels like uh, he can he. It's like he is sharing time with an equal uh, in the sense of experiences, uh, even though their backgrounds are totally different. But he feels like since Suga is so, so honest and so um, it's a very simple man. Um, it's like he doesn't feel like he has to put on an act to entertain uh, or maybe it's like um it's like for for to be around sugar you have to be to go with the flow and sometimes for Jean, since he is a little kid inside sometimes it's a little hard to manage all his excitement and all his uh because eventually he's going to to drop a, a dad joke one or two during the day <laughs> you know because it's like to break to break the tension, to break the the comfortable, the uncomfortable silences that are a lot. But for example, for him, it's a whole new experience to be with someone that is so maybe so uh, so calm, like um, like Yungi. It's like he. Um, it it's a whole process for him to get used to. Jungi's energy and to copy um, Suga's energy or or maybe Suga's uh, mood of that day. So for him, it's it's about breaking boundaries and I mean about going into the unknown, about being uh, with someone that is totally different from you, but at the same time you make the effort and you connect with that person it's like a part of you that maybe you wasn't even really aware that you had it connects with with that difference i don't know if i'm making sense but that's how i feel that he finds his uh, calm side his more grounded size side whenever he is sharing time with yungi so he 
he feels uh, really nice in the sense but at the beginning it's like a whole expectation about uh, how the day is going to turn out um so he tries to keep things like uh, really simple he he tries to um to to have fun to to have fun but at the same time to 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 be considerate to the person he's inviting um so it's a really um nice energy in the and in the, the relationship between them overall the cards that came out are the hermit uh the strength card and the ace of cups so they definitely um are um are going through a, a period where um they sometimes need some time alone um and they don't know how to tell everyone that they need time alone um but not to be alone literally it's just that uh they are always surrounded by people and they are always surrounded by the same people and that they are always uh surrounded with with each other not just gene and sugar with the seven members so sometimes both of them feel this need to go hermit mode in a sense that maybe he they they share this passion about playing games maybe a great day for them would be to spend all an entire day inside a room playing games and it's like they cherish those moments to be on their own um i think they share this they share this need to be on a hermit mode to be on their own to be by themselves and they both get that they both get that they think that it's maybe because they're they're getting older and and well they are always in constant activities but it's like whenever they have a free time the first thing they f they think about is i'm going to my room and i'm going to play games or i'm going to watch a drama or i'm going to watch uh, a, a movie but by myself i want to be on my own i don't want other people because they feel the pressure to entertain whoever is around so especially jean not so much sugar um but it's like um he feels that like Jean feels like he can talk about sugar about these things about um wanting it wanting to be alone because it's like sometimes it gets awkward because um it's like whenever someone asks him hey, what, what what are you going to do today and you're like oh yes i'm going to stay home and play games and he's like oh you want me to come with you and it's like no i don't <laughs> inside of their mind um but it's something that they definitely enjoy to have this these kinds of thoughts and these kinds of reflections about how they want to spend their time and that's how they connect um they find they find uh, a strength it's like they they bond to this feeling that if they invite you invite you to do something is because they really care about you they want you to have time they have a good time but at the same time if you say no it's not going to be the end of the world it's like they are not that emotionally uh, attached people they are really like they they are waiting for you to answer and if you say no they will not cry they will not get disappointed they will not be talking back behind your back they just move on to the next thing. They don't hold on to people's actions or people's expectations or people's words. It's like they uh, live in the moment. It's like, um, and especially Suga, it, it's he, you, the way you can convince him of something is that you have to prove him with facts, with actions not with words not with uh, sentiment things just with actions what do you want from me so in this sense they get alone and their bond is really strong um because the 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 spread ends with the ace of cups so it's definitely an invitation 
all the invitation they do between each other uh, are from a place of love are from a place of getting closer to each other of having this uh this nice uh and warm feelings about each other um they definitely appreciate each other appreciate the moments they share um, but they don't over analyze anything it's not like they are best friends they just have fun when they are together and if they are apart and if you don't see them hanging around holding hands during a video or or a, a shooting it, it, it's not that they don't like each other it's just that for them it doesn't work that way for them they can really care about you and maybe not see you for for weeks and it's not that they don't care about you it's just that they need some alone time they're thinking this they're thinking about this they need sometimes to do something that is not related to bts to to doing something with the members and sometimes they don't know how to say it um especially they don't know how to explain press it maybe maybe it's not a problem between them in the seven of them because they all know but it's a problem with others especially on camera it's like i don't know if we saw them together in the soup it's like uh, people uh, start to to think uh, and want to find those little moments where they start sharing moments again and if they don't, it's like, oh my God, something happened. They they argued. They are no longer hanging around together. And it's like, it doesn't mean anything. They are just on camera. They are uh, playing a role. They are following a script. So if they are not sitting next to each other, don't, don't do conspiracy theories about these young men lives because nothing is is not what it seems nothing it's what it seems i always see it in the cards it doesn't mean that they care much or they care less it's just the things the way the things are we as human beings are complex and relationships are complex and sometimes if they don't want to hang around each other they they have their reasons or maybe they are bored of seeing each other's faces and it can be a reality i mean it happens for example with people that you work with sometimes it happens with people that you study that you go to uni university with or faculty or or high school or whatever um the last thing you want in your summer break in your summer vacation is to go on vacation with them and bringing them along and it's like people need to understand that that they sometimes need to have other social interactions or in the case of Jean and Sugar they just want to be left alone to play games so this is the reality of them now so guys I will see you in the next video um so please if you have suggestions if you want to leave it in the comment section you know i always read you so thank you so much for for being here and i'll see you in the next video bye